Hi guys, welcome to NetGate Chemistry. So this was the question which was asked in CSIR NET exams, and we are going to discuss exactly this question. And after this question, I'll be taking up a question which was asked in a doubt. So I'll be taking up that doubt as well. So first, we'll start with this question. The question says that a solution of Fe three positive is titrated potentiometrically using cerium three positive solution. So basically, in the titration flask, we will be having a solution of Fe three positive, and cerium three positive solution will be added to this solution. Now, this is a redox system, and what they are saying is that first of all, we have to find out. EMF of the redox system when 50% of Fe3 positive is getting titrated and second time 80% of Fe3 positive is getting titrated. So first of all, if we look at the system, then what is happening? We have Fe3 positive solution, cerium3 positive solution is getting added to this solution. Then after the addition what was hap- what will be happening is that fe3 positive will be changing to fe2 positive and cerium3 positive will be changing to cerium4 positive so this is the kind of redox system which we will be having now for this particular reaction if i write down the nernst equation so it will be e equals to e not minus rt upon nf ln of fe2 positive upon fe3 positive right now in first case what is happening 50% of fe is getting reduced right reduction is taking place now what happens here if i take the first case 50% of fe is getting reduced that is if i again write this equation as fe3 positive cerium3 positive is added changing to fe2 positive plus cerium4 positive then initially when you are having the system initially in the flask we will be having fe3 positive consider the concentration to be 1 okay so we are trying to get the numbers in fractions so first of all fe3 positive will be 1 now what happens 50% of fe will be reduced that means out of this 1 0.5 will be used up right so 0.5 will be taken up by this cerium 3 positive right so after the reaction what will be happening is that this will fe3 positive in the flask remaining will be 0.5 right and fe2 positive will be now 0.5 because fe3 positive 0.5 of the fe3 positive is now changed to fe2 positive and remaining 0.5 will be the cerium 4 positive so what has happened here is that initially we were having overall fe3 positive then we started adding this cerium 3 positive so what happened 50% of fe was got getting reduced so 50% was reduced to fe2 positive and what happened out of 1.5 of fe3 positive got reduced to fe2 positive and remaining and to uh, reduce this fe3 positive 0.5 of the cerium 3 positive was used so this is the overall Uh, observation now based on this observation if i'm going to write down the nernst equation then what will happen so if i use this equation so it will be e is equals to e not minus rt upon f n is 1 here right so fe3 positing changing to fe2 positive so change in number of electrons is 1 so that's why i'm writing f here now ln of fe2 positive concentration of fe2 positive will be 0.5 divided by concentration of fe3 positive that is also 0.5 so it will be 1 and log of 1 is 0 so this whole value this whole value will be actually 0 and we will be getting e is equals to e not 
e not of the cell and e not of cell is given to us in the question that is 0.77 volt so here the emf of cell will be 0.77 volt now we look at this four uh, now if we look at these four options then what we observe is that a and d will be cancelled out because b and c are having 0.77 volt now we have to go for the second part so in second part what they are saying is that here 80% of fe3 positive is getting reduced now again if i write the equation so initially in the flask we'll having we will be having overall fe3 positive solution right now what happens 80% is getting consumed so that means 1 minus 0.8 because we are writing in terms of fraction so to reduce 0.8 amount of fe3 positive we will be requiring 0.8 amount of cerium 3 positive as well now this will be the second observation after the titration what will happen 0.2 of fe3 positive will be left and fe2 positive formed will be 0.8 because 80% has been reduced so 0.8 will be here in form of fe2 positive now we will again write the nonst equation for this so it will be e is equals to e not minus rt upon f because again here n is 1 ln of Point eight divided by point two. Now, if we solve this, what we'll be getting is see E naught of electrode is given as point seven seven. We also know the value that is point zero five nine one. And if we solve this, point two point eight divided by point two will be four. So it can be written as ln four. So ln four we can write it as ln of two raised to power two. So it will be written as two. log 2 right so it is in log this is also in log so it will be 0.0591 multiplied by 2 log of 2 because here 2.303 rt by f this whole when we solve we get the value as 0.0591 so that's why if we change ln into log and we substitute this value because ln is 2.303 log this is also a conversion so if we want to change ln into log so we have to multiply that by 2.303 and we are also having rt by f and this whole value equals to 0.0591 that's why i have written here 0.0591 and in order to solve log 4 we can solve it like this so log 4 can be written as log 2 to the power 2 that is 2 log 2 we will be getting after solving we will be getting the answer as 0.734 so now if we look at the options so out of b and c the correct option is going to be option c so c is the correct option now with this we'll move on to the uh, question which was asked as a doubt so one of you guys were having problem in this particular question so so now in order to solve this question first thing which we should know is this equation right you should know this formula and another formula for i that is half of sigma mi zi square these two formulas you should know here what you have to do now is that here what you can observe we have been given three types of ionic solids right so they have given nacl cacl2 lacl3 
थ्री नाउ पर्टिकुलर इन पर्टिकुलरली इन दैट कमेंट आई वॉज जेन्यनली नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू आर ट्राइंग टू अप्रोच दैट क्वेश्चन बट वट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट यू आर हैविंग स्पेसिफिकली डाउट इन दिस क्वेश्चन सो दैट्स वाई एम डिस्कसिंग दैट मे बी दिस टाइम यू विल बी गेटिंग क्लियर इन योर माइंड दैट हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो यू शुड नो दीज टू फॉर्मुलाज एंड नाउ आफ्टर दिस वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू शुड नो फॉर यूनि यूनिवेलेंट इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एम इज आई इक्वल्स टू आई एंड आई होप यू नो अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रोवेलेंसी सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग हेयर इज दैट देर आर टू थिंग्स विच वी हैव टू ऑब्जर्व इन दिस रिलेशन फर्स्ट थिंग इज दिस मोड ऑफ जेड पॉजिटिव जेड नेगेटिव एज वी आर मूविंग फ्रॉम एन ए सी एल to CaCl2 and then to LaCl3 this overall value of z positive z negative mode is increasing you can see here right here it is plus 1 minus 1 right so you can see electrovalency is increasing it is plus 2 and minus 1 minus 1 here it is plus 3 and minus 1 on each cl so definitely electrovalency is increasing and second thing is that here we have i root under i so what is happening here is that the value of i what happens with the uh, value of i here in this case that also you have to understand when we talk about uni univalent electrolyte then m is going to be equal to i right and as we move from here to here that value is also going to increase the mode of z positive z negative increases with increasing electrovalency also as the electrovalency of the cation increases here it is plus 1 plus 2 then plus 3 as this electrovalency of the cation increases this ionic strength ionic strength also increases so what happens here if we see these two things mode of z positive z negative and root of i when we are moving from nacl towards lacl3 what is happening both of these values are increasing now if we look at this overall relation then it is having relation with ln gamma plus minus with negative sign that means as these two values goes on increasing the value of ln gamma will decrease gradually right because of this negative sign so what we can observe this mode value is also increasing from here to here and this root i is also increasing from here to here so definitely this ln gamma plus minus value will keep on decreasing so that's why i said that in case of nacl right we will be having highest slope followed by b that is cacl2 and then c that is lacl3 so these two things you have to keep in mind from moving here to here this mode of z positive z negative is increasing also this ionic strength is also increasing as the electrovalency is going to increase so that's why is this ln gamma plus minus value is decreasing because of this negative sign that's why we have given a b c uh, plots these uh, nacl cacl2 and lacl3 options right so that's why Uh, the correct option was option B. So I hope with this your doubt will be clear now. So so far that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.